Hey guys, it's me, Crystal. I am back with a review and swatches of this Sonia Kashuk palette. This is the Eye on Neutral palette. I picked it up yesterday at Target. It's $19.99. So it's not going to be really a full review only because I haven't used it more than one time. I've only used it once. Today I used it um, for the eye make makeup that I have on today. And uh, I did do a tutorial for this look, so I will be posting that. I'm not sure if that's going to go up first or this video, but just be on the lookout for... Uh, the tutorial if I put this video up first. So anyways, um, it does have 12 eyeshadows. They're all matte shades. It is a little pricey, $19.99 for a drugstore palette. However, you do get 12 shades and they're all matte. And uh, I just figured if I didn't like it, I would return it because I've never had a, I've never had a problem returning used, opened cosmetic products to Target. I know some people say that you can't return it there. I'm not really sure if that's an assumption or if people have actually tried and they weren't able to return it. So I've returned many things there and I've never had any questions asked. They just do the return. So I just feel like if you're not happy with a cosmetic product that you've tried, then you should be able to return it because why are you going to waste your money on something you didn't even like? So anyway, this is the Ion Neutral Palette. So I think the price is a little high, but uh, so far I do like the eyeshadows a lot. And uh, the packaging, I do like it. It's nice and sleek and small. Um, you can throw this in your travel bag. It's a really nice uh, travel eyeshadow palette. So really like the eyeshadow palette itself, the packaging. Um, and it does slide out right here with a little guide. So it's like an instructional uh, palette is what they called it on the outside wrapping. That's what it said. So you pull that drawer out and then it gives you three different looks that you can do. It says look one, look two, look three, and then it has these, uh, so it has these little cards that you actually just slide up like this to do look one, two, and three. Now the first one says a, slough, a softly contoured eye. Second one is a wash of neutral, and the third one is a smoky eye. So if you're like a beginner and you need some instructions on where to place certain colors, then this is good for that. Personally, I won't use this. Um, I like to do my own color combination, so I don't use any instructional type things like that. But um, it could come in handy for those of you that are just getting started with makeup or that like um, some instructions on where to place color. So. So again, overall the packaging is nice. Now the problem with this thing is it kind of just opens by itself. Now that I've opened it, <laughs> kind of just slides out. So that is a little bit of annoying. But overall I do like the packaging. It is a nice uh, palette, especially because you can see through it. So when you open it up, um, the 12 eyeshadows in here are labeled. So it's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So um, again, those instructional guides uh, will tell you which color like number do number 10 um, on the crease, so you would go with number 10. So they are labeled right above the eyeshadow. They're very small, so I can see them pretty well, but some people might have a hard time because the numbers are fairly small. So let me just tell you what I think of the colors that i use used so far, and I'm going to tell you which ones I've used. So I've used this one here um, as my highlight. It's number one. It's like a cream, cream color. Not quite white, but it's almost white. It's a little bit off-white cream. And... Um, I also use number four, which is like a matte peachy color, and I use number eight right here. This is like a taupey brown, and then I use this brown over here. This is number nine. Um, it's a darker brown, and then I use number 10, or number 12, which is the black. So overall, I think the eyeshadows are... They have good pigmentation. I didn't have any trouble with blending. Um, they all blended nicely and were pigmented. I didn't have any problems with color payoff. They all had a very good color payoff. So, um, so far with the one, two, three, four. So with the five eyeshadows I used, I am satisfied with the palette so far. I haven't used every single color, but I've used five of the 12 and I do think they're really nice. So now I'm just gonna kind of give you guys swatches on my hand. Um, I am going to use my e.l.f. eyelid primer on my hand only because when you put eyeshadow on your eye, you do uh, use an eye primer. And especially when you're going to swatch uh, matte eyeshadows, you definitely need to swatch them with a primer on your hand, I feel, because matte shadows can be hard to swatch. They don't always come off the most pigmented when they're swatched without an eye primer. So that's why I'm going to apply one to my hand. So I just kind of blended it into the hand there. 
Okay, so these are all these swatches. Let me just zoom in for you guys. So those are all the swatches right there. Um, so I did each row. Uh, these are the lighter shades. Obviously, lighter shades aren't as pigmented all the time. So, uh, but I do think the pigmentation is is good for the light colors. Um, the middle one is probably the least pigmented there. Um, but they are light ones. You would use these more for highlight or maybe an all-over lid color or stuff like that. So um, the rest of them are very pigmented. Um, you get some, like a peach, a pink, um, a light brown, and then these variations of browns, like a taupey brown, a deeper brown, a warm brown. And this one is like a taupey brown again with a little bit of a purple undertone and this is just a gray and then a black. So I think the pigmentation of all these is really good. Um, like I said, the lighter ones aren't as pigmented. So let me just uh, do this for you guys. I can't like turn my hand like that. So anyway, there is a side by side of the swatches and the palettes. So the texture of these is very soft and smooth. I mean, I don't have to like swirl my finger a zillion times to get pigmentation on my finger. So I think the pigmentation is really nice for this palette. I really love the color selection. When you buy a matte palette, like these are all the colors that you really want. You know, you want some brown, different variation of browns, warms, cool tones. Uh, you want a gray, a black, pink, peach, um, and then some off-white cream colors. So definitely a really good color palette. Now when you do swoop your finger in them, um, you do get a little bit of fallout. Some are a little bit chalky. I mean, not bad at all. I've had eyeshadows that were way chalkier than that, but they're matte colors, so you have to really realize that matte shades, they're going to be a little bit chalky. Most matte colors are. I don't think I've ever used a matte eyeshadow that didn't have some type of chalkiness to it. So I really, overall, really like the palette so far. Again, I've only used it once. I haven't used every single color, but um, from what I've used on my eye and then the swatches of all of them, I really like it. I'm happy with it. It's not a regret for me at all. Um, I just like it. I think it will come in handy, especially for travel. Just kind of throw it in your travel bag and uh, you have all the, the matte shades that you need here. So, And it's really nice to compare this with some shimmery colors or you can do an all matte shade. So that's why I put one shimmery color on my lid from another brand and then the rest were the Sonia Kashuk eyeshadows. So really impressed. I really like it. Um, it is pricey again, $19.99, but... Um, but again, you're getting 12 colors, so I don't know. How much is that? So it's almost a little over $1.50 for each shadow, so that's really not bad. They're a decent size. So just to do a little comparison, um, this is my Stila in the No palette. This is um, a palette with all matte shadows, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. There's 10 eyeshadows in here, and this cost, I think, 30 I can't remember, $39 maybe, $39. So just side by side comparison, you get a matte black, you get a matte gray, um, you get a couple different variations of brown in this palette and this palette. Um, you get a peach in both palettes and a couple cream colors, off-white colors. So very similar colors in it. I mean, not every color is the same. Let me just do a little bit of um, some swatch comparisons, I guess, for you guys. So there's a swatch of the grays. Um, this one is from the Sonia Kashuk palette, and this one is from the In the No palette from Stila. Now, the Stila one is a little bit, a little darker, but um, overall, I feel like they're very similar in texture. And let me just do a couple other swatches for you guys. So those are a couple swatches of eyeshadows from, it's like this taupey brown here. And then from the Sonia Kashuk palette, it's this taupey brown here. Um, they're very similar. They are a little bit different, but they are similar. So I feel like they're, they're very comparable, <laughs> to be honest. Now I'm going to take this color here from the Stila palette and this color over here. From So those are the two colors. Um, the top one is the Stila and the bottom one is Sonia Kashuk. Very similar. Very, very similar. I mean, they are slightly different, but very similar. So there are a lot of comparisons in these two palettes. Now this one you get 10 eyeshadows for $39, and this one you get 12 eyeshadows for $19.99. So 
Um, if you don't want to spend a lot of money, then I would recommend this palette. The texture of them feels very similar. Color payoff is very similar, similar colors, so I thought I would just do it. a little comparison, not a full swatch comparison, but just a little bit to give you an idea of how I feel about the quality. So I feel like the quality is very similar to that one. So that's pretty much it, you guys. Um, I really like it, and I'm happy with my purchase, so I'm, I'm happy to add this to my collection. So... So if you guys have any questions about this palette, just put your comments below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Um, I hope I covered everything and I think I did. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching and take care. Bye.